going on everybody I'm here to talk about the 4k sport ultra HD which I've noticed I've been seeing around um, I'm, a, I'm basically gonna say it's similar to the GoPro I'm actually just say it's competition for the GoPro because people always try to say that it's a knockoff you can't really call it a knockoff of the GoPro because I just feel it's like a competitor if somebody came out with a pair of Nikes and then somebody came out with some Mikeys, then of course, yeah, then that's a knockoff. But if somebody came out with Nikes and then somebody came out with Adidas, it's a totally different product. So I'm just going to look at it as a different product for a cheaper price. But the main thing I'm going to get into on this thing, I'm not going to worry about all the stuff it does. I think you guys already probably know. If you already been searching, only thing I want to get to straight is the Wi-Fi. I notice a lot of people is having difficulty getting to the Wi-Fi on here. Let me tell you the main secret of getting to the Wi-Fi. Make sure you have your owner's manual. The reason why you need your owner's manual because if you go right here on the back of the owner's manual, you can scan it in right here. You know, if you have your iPhone, you have your Android, or, you know, you're over in China, Japan, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Scan this first. And then what this is going to do, it's going to send a app to your phone. So you can, it has a button right here with the little Wi-Fi sign on it. You just hit it. And boom, right there, it's already searching for the information so you can connect it to your phone. All you do is type in that information to it, boom, boom, boom. Give it a second, let it sit, and then it'll start to connect. When it connects, this light right here on tight, a light up. That's letting you know that it is connected and it's up and running. And then on your phone, I wish I could show you, but I am using the phone right now. But you look on your phone and you actually will see the video. And I noticed one thing, it, it, it is like a two, maybe three second Three second? I give it three seconds. Three second delay. So if you don't mind a three second delay, it's fine. Other than that, but it's good because you get to be able to check to see how it looks before you use the final recording. Because like perfect example, if you was recording a football game or a basketball game and you set up your tripod and you have it set up for a distance, you can actually check on your phone to see how much how much distance do you have and how much area you're going to cover while the game is going on versus you just guessing. Another thing I did not get into, this giant, gigantic box that it comes with. It does come with a lot of extra pieces. A lot. Of course, you got your wireless and you got all these different, you got your cloth for cleaning, which is a good thing. It came in handy. Uh, you got some stickies, you want to stick it in the helmet or whatever. Oh uh, man, they made sure, and some zip ties, I don't even know what you're going to use the zip ties for, but some zip ties, which will probably come in handy somewhere, somehow. I like how they gave you a strap. Traps always come in handy for whatever reason. And then in the box over here, there's even more to give you another extra for your uh, water resistant system. They give you an extra one. And then here's all the different ones for the, for the actual um, camera itself. So you can hook it up to whatever unit you want to use it for. You got the bicycle for the bicycle. Look, you got the clip. So if you want to clip it onto your shirt, your pocket, <laughs> you clip it onto the pocket. You can put it on the. Yeah, it's got the easy release right here, which comes in handy pretty good. Yeah, pretty nice. Oh, this is the handlebars. Most definitely will be going on the bicycle. You know, so. Yeah, it's a whole lot. It's pretty it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot.